Hi students, so today we will see the last topic in our syllabus that is uh, radiation heat transfer. Okay, so radiation heat transfer as we discussed in the introduction session itself, it is also a mode of heat transfer. Okay, so where the heat will transfer, but for this type of heat transfer, it, it does not require any medium to transfer the heat from one place to another place. So, it is happening without any medium uh, it can also happen in vacuum okay that is meaning for radiation heat transfer so that only i written so what is radiation it is the mechanism of heat transfer which will takes place in the absence of medium that is that we seen already that is a definition of radiation okay next uh, this concept is most important while solving the numericals also this is very important so you listen first what is this Suppose I am considering this as one object, okay. So, one solid body I am taking, this is one solid body, okay. So, some radiation is coming and falling on this body, okay. What will happen? So, when it is falling on solid body, it will have absorption. What it will do? It will absorb some amount of energy and it will reflect some amount of energy and it will transmit some amount of energy. Okay, that are the things that the particular solid body will behave when any kind of energy falling on the particular body, some portion of the energy it will reflect, some portion of the energy or percentage of energy it will absorb and some portion of energy it will transmit from the one end to another end. Okay, so that is why that is what I am just shown in this figure. So, I am considering this as, uh, sorry. I am considering this as one solid body, okay. On this, the radiation is falling on the body. The radiation energy which is falling on the body is called as incident of radiation, okay. The technical word for that is incident of radiation. So, this much amount that is the G is falling on the body and how much amount of energy is reflecting is denoted by this is the amount of energy falling and this is the amount of energy reflecting from the body okay and this is the that is denoted by the letter uh, rho so you see g is incident radiation okay what is alpha sorry rho which is means reflection and what is alpha alpha means absorption so and the another one is the tau so this is not rho this is tau Okay, so this is transmission. Okay, so what it is doing? It is falling, which is incident radiation G. Rho is reflection, alpha is absorption, tau is transmission. Okay, so there is one concept in radiation. Always you remember this alpha plus rho plus tau is equal to 1. Okay, so that will vary with respect to type of bodies. Okay, for black body, that formula will vary, and for gray body, that formula will vary and for white body that formula will vary but this is the common formula alpha plus rho plus tau equal to 1 okay means alpha means absorptivity absorptivity means what is absorptivity how much amount of energy is falling on that and how much amount of energy is absorbed how much percentage of energy is absorbed from the incident radiation is called absorptivity reflectivity means how much amount of energy is reflected from the incident of radiation. Uh, transmission is nothing but how much amount of energy is transmitted from the incident radiation. So that if you take the fraction of that all then the final equation will come alpha plus rho plus tau equal to 1. Okay, But this alpha is what reflection rho is sorry alpha is for absorption rho is for reflection tau is indicating the transmission. Suppose I am taking a black body black body is a perfect emitter and also absorber okay for black body uh, it will not uh, transmit okay it will reflect and it will not maximum it will absorb only so for black body the tau is equal to 0 okay and the rho is equal to 0 alpha is equal to 1 because how much energy is falling on that that whole energy black body will absorb so alpha is equal to 1 for black body okay next uh, Suppose if you take uh, some other bodies based on the type of body, 
the reflection absorption and also if you take a white body then it will reflect more for white body rho is equal to 1 okay and alpha will not be equal to all equal to 1 and uh, it will not transmit also if you consider as a white body okay uh, if you consider as a gray body then it will also reflect some amount of incident radiation so th that also will vary so with respect to body the reflection absorption and the transmission will vary okay for opaque body if you take opaque body opaque body means wood okay so you metal kind of things if you take what will happen that opaque body it will never transmit the heat energy from one end to another end so for opaque body tau equal to zero okay so that based on the type of body absorption reflection and transmission will vary that we will see in clear while we solving the previous year question papers based on the this concept okay there you will uh, clearly understand now you just remember alpha plus rho plus tau is equal to 1 alpha is absorptivity rho is reflectivity tau is transmissivity right next and the next one is in your syllabus is given stephen boltzmann law stephen boltzmann law which is the governing law for radiation okay it is denoting that the rate of emissive power from the body is equal to fourth power of its temperature okay that is called stephen boltzmann law any body can emit radiation when it is above absolute temperature absolute temperature means that kelvin zero kelvin anybody if it is at more than zero kelvin that all the bodies will emit radiation that emission will be directly proportional to fourth power of its temperature that is called stephen boltzmann law the equation for the Stephen Boltzmann law, same we have seen in the introduction session about the heat transfer also, which is Q is equal to epsilon sigma A into surface temperature to the power of 4 minus the surrounding temperature to the power of 4. Okay, so where sigma is Stephen Boltzmann constant, the constant value is 5.67 into 10 to the power of minus 8 unit is watts per meter square Kelvin power 4. Okay, in some of the question papers, they are asking the unit for Stephen Boltzmann constant. Okay, they can say uh, they will give the answers like watts per meter square Kelvin power 4 and some other units. So, you please remember the unit for Stephen Boltzmann constant also. It is important, I have seen in one question paper previous year, some other state assistant engineer post, they have asked the simply unit of Stephen Boltzmann constant, which is watt per meter square kelvin power 4 and the value also sometimes they will ask value of the stephen boltzmann constant is 5.67 into 10 to the power of minus 8 okay next wayne's displacement law also an important law in the radiation it is dealing with and it is giving an idea about the wavelength okay with respect to emissive power and temperature okay so in radiation what we have studied what is mean by radiation heat is getting transferred without any medium it doesn't require any medium so that the electromagnetic waves are the major part in the radiation so it is moving at some wavelength from one place to another place so this Wayne's displacement law is giving an idea about at what wavelength the emissive power is maximum okay suppose it is moving at this much wavelength at that particular wavelength suppose it is moving at some 5 micron meter or some 6 micron meter then at that particular wavelength how much amount of mc power it is having and what is the temperature at the particular wavelength so this particular law is dealing with these three things one is mc power another one is the uh, a wavelength another one is the temperature okay you see this graph from this graph you can easily understand so in the x-axis i have given the wavelength and in the y-axis i have given the intensity for emissive power okay now you see this red color line and this is this green color lines are temperature lines for example this is 300 kelvin temperature line this whole line is 300 kelvin temperature line this gold green line is indicating the temperature of 300 kelvin and this line is indicating 4000 and this line is indicating 5000 and this line is indicating 6000 Kelvin. Okay. And you observe here carefully, this uh, Wayne's uh, scientist is a German scientist. He found that by, he found, he did some experiment and at the end of the experiment, he concluded that when we increase, sorry, decrease the wavelength, then what is happening? 
see uh, the wavelength uh, maximum wavelength will be uh, here only so that maximum is here only so at the temperature of 6000 kelvin where is the maximum wavelength you can say this is the maximum wavelength maybe 600 micron meter at uh, 500 kelvin this center point only you have to consider you should not take here and here and all. this is the maximum wavelength at that particular temperature line so likewise you take for all the temperature lines and for this also and you see when you decrease the wavelength the MEC power is increasing so from the graph I have written here it is observed that decrease of lambda max increase in temperature and also increase of temperature with increase in the intensity of MEC power okay when you decrease the wavelength then what is happening the temperature is also increasing see wavelength is gradually decreasing from 2000 to 500 at 2000 what is the wavelength at 300 kelvin temperature the wavelength is 1500 but at 6000 kelvin temperature the wavelength is only 600 so when you decrease the wavelength the temperature is also increasing and the intensity also you see at this point the intensity that is MEC power is less you see the y axis y axis is MEC power at this wavelength that is at 1500 micrometer of wavelength the intensity is this much only when you increase when you decrease it finally gradually the wavelength is also increasing though so this is how he has found the some he has done some experiment and he have found when you decrease the wavelength the intensity of MEC power and the temperature also will increase this is called uh, Wayne's displacement law okay these two laws are important in your syllabus some other laws also there Kirchhoff's law is there Blanc's distribution law is there but that is not given in your syllabus in your syllabus only two laws are given one is Stephen Boltzmann law another one is this law okay from this law also questions will come okay suppose they will give the graph and they will ask you this is based on which law so that you have to write Wayne's displacement law and some other things also they may ask you while solving the problem we will see the questions from this topic also so that you will clearly understand okay so another topic is also that that I will uh, take uh, please wait